Hey guys, this is Nick here. Today we are reacting to some more Meat Canyon. Good old Papa Meat. Yeah, this is episode 6 of Monster Lab. Uh, title. <laughs> Monster Lab Virgin Assassin. So we're gonna... Okay, well, first things first. Gotta pick up right where we left off in episode 5. Uh, Jesse? No. James? I forgot the kid's name, um, but <laughs> he turned into a badass now. Uh, kick, kick the shit out of King at the ending of the episode. Uh, now the American sniper is mad at King. I forgot his name. is Chris Kyle. There we go. Chris Kyle is mad at King. Uh, also, it seems as though King is actually hallucinating. Or he's actually going insane from being on house arrest for way too long. Or being obsessed with cats and Uno. But yeah, but other than that, I have no idea what's going to happen. Aside from the thumbnail that I'm looking at, <laughs> yeah. Let's just start. There's not much for me to say. Uh, go check out Meat Cannon and everything he does. The original link will be down in the description as always. And yeah, I'll see. And yeah, so uh, I guess we will just go ahead and start. Oh, this is going to sound so good. I have the volume lowered a little bit. Hopefully that's okay. You failed me again, King! <laughs> you don't understand. Oh yeah, also this boy was spry. Real strong mindset. Like an ox. Or a sorry, uh sorry to pause. Uh there was a warning that me can actually put in for il ele I cannot say the word epilepsy. God, I suck at words. Uh, a warning for stuff. That's the first time I've ever seen Meat Ganyan put something in that. I actually saw that in a co in comments. I read through a bit of the comments just for fun. Don't worry, there's no spoilers. I try not to read as much. Um, God, those nipples. Uh, but <laughs> uh, but yeah, warning. This has a lot of flashing lights and probably it's possibly disturbing, unlike Meat Ganyan level, but probably a lot more disturbing. So, yeah. I just wanted to clarify that it had a warning for the first time from me, Canyon. Outplayed by a mere child. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> no. No. And there's that part that we... <laughs> that face! I cannot tell if he's going crazy or what. But the character, the <laughs> I like how he's just a normal character, but he still has that meat canyon. Oh god, what is no? What is that? <laughs> that thing is ugly. <laughs> that Be face. Sure to soak those plates. <laughs> no. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. Who are you? Cats around. That's an interesting voice. Though my collection is vast, ranging from every Goosebumps novel to every Shonen Jump magazine, and the complete Scholastic Book Fair catalog, this is my most prized possession. My old master's journal. This is our <laughs> things to do before I die. Holy Grail. And someday, Jesse, I plan on passing it down to you. Are there any nudie pics in it? I like any gun stuff? Hmm. Hadn't thought to look. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to finger around and check. <laughs> nice, nice joke, cats. Cats? Udo, I wasn't uh, looking through our master's book trying to find pornography with this child here. I, how dare you imply that? There's some. Okay, fine. That's exactly what I was doing. But you know me. I'm curious like a cat. I'm a Good pun. There's someone here. <laughs> yes, you should be ashamed. I'm not sure, but one thing's certain. Dude, the this animation is, is actually cool looking a lot a better. Bitch. Look at it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Boragon, it's you! Were you just flashing our family? Yeah, I was just showing them my dick. <laughs> Classic bit. Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's hilarious. A cock! <laughs> Forgot how funny that could be. 
This guy gets it. I do get it. Well, some things never change. Wait, okay. so you know this guy? Oh, do I know him? He's only the coolest guy I've ever known. Let's reminisce back to good old days. Did someone say, flashback? <laughs> no, no, that shit's lame. Who cares about a lame-ass backstory? Memories are lame. I'm cool. Smoking does not make you cool. It makes you die. Yeah, you're right. Memories are lame. Right, Udo? Who is this guy? We used to work together at Frank's Castle. Way before your time. End of that story for sure. That lame, very lame story. <laughs> oh wait, that uh, that crossed over my mind. He worked with... Good Lord! This is Eddie. Okay, so yeah, this... Be nam ki aga gizdu. Hey, whoa, whoa, come on, man. Well, I was just trying to. Yeah, it's as offensive as all. Slurring your words, mush mouth. <laughs> wow, you're a natural, man. That was really close. Good job. Well, sounded a lot like what I said, but, you know, whatever. I'm a part of the situation, and that's all that matters. Eh, not really. Well, I gotta say, cats, your place is a real shithole. Oh, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. Nah, nah. This this place is awesome. You haven't even seen the best part. Uh, I'm yeah. starting to like where this, this is, is going. Operation. Pretty sweet laboratory here. Well, it kind of sucks. <laughs> new model here, huh? No wonder your monsters look like little baby marshmallows. Ah, charming. Yeah, we run things pretty PG around this house, which is pretty cool, pretty cool, but but luckily we still have this. Oh, huh. Frank's journal. Wow. Man, yeah, so he was... <laughs> See it? Anything for you, but... Yes, yes. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty sweet. Saving the world, making people's lives better. No big deal. What are these pink post-it notes in here? Oh, those. They're the entries I still haven't been able to figure out yet. The riddles of Frank's mind were so complex. Pestilence. Mass genocide. I just can't see how that'll help the world. I still have so much to learn. Ah, uh, cats. I'm sure you can figure it out. Let's give him a try. He'll be right by your side. And I'm sure Jesse's ready to help, too. Okay, his name is Jesse. He said he's not ready yet. Well, with two of the coolest people in the world by my side, how could I possibly fail? Well... What are we waiting for? Let's go! I'm I'm glad this random character Jesse is just to God and to your country. <laughs> no! No no! I don't have to listen to you anymore! You're not real! Not real! No! You're a figment of my tortured mind. I've been driven mad. By losing everything that made Henry King the man he is. But no more. Don't you dare, you hog! Please. <laughs> They're just having fun, I guess. Well, Katz and his friends right now are having fun, and King is just having a mental ba battle with uh, Chris Kyle. How are we helping anyone? What do you mean? Look how excited these kids are. You're just jealous, Uno. I'll suck your dick for some meth, sir. Ugh, my god, child. Run home. Run away from me. No. I'm 45 years old. I just hang out with these kids. Ah, uh, look sure can be deceiving. Here, I, I think I got some in my pocket here. Cats, this is awful. We've completely uh, turned our back on what we that's were trying disturbing. to accomplish in that book. You're delusional. We've crossed off a ton of stuff in the book today. I'm getting the fuck out of here. 
right, Udo. <laughs> yes. We'll get through this whole book without you. Watch your teeth, kid. God damn. No! My bones! My tier one operator body! <laughs> tier one operator. I... Me can is... Uh, is he gone? It's over. It is not over. over. It is not over. Where's the plot twist? Where, where's the creepy stuff, Meat Canyon? You're not real. You're not real. What is going on? Is he real or not? I cannot tell. Let's take out the mayor. Uh, why? What did he do? <laughs> Nothing really. What do mayors even do? It's just a class bit. Political assassination. Hilarious. No one's gonna care. Look. He's all alone over there. Hello. Hello, everyone. Just take the shot, cats. Just take, take it. Fuck. <laughs> You know, that I think about it, guns are so lame, like super lame, right guys? Take the fucking shot, cats! We're doing what Frank wanted, following his instructions. Chaos may have- We do not know you! World. What are you talking about? Have you even looked at this book? It's full of horrible evil shit. I mean, it's bound in fucking human skin. <laughs> Didn't you notice that? I... Well, I thought it was fine leather. That Just was... <laughs> okay. Do something productive for once in your life and shoot that mayor right in his fucking face! I... Okay. Alright. I don't understand where this story is going, but I like the voice that they... They're doing for this guy. <laughs> Just in the back. Thank you for coming out. What is it you've got in your hand there? I'm sure it's nothing. No, this is wrong. Uno was right. We're not helping anyone here. Today I've learned a powerful lesson. That our idols may not be who we think they are. I believe it was the great poet William Carlos. He's gonna take up the gun and shoot the mayor. Yep. Boy, slick. Jesse! My boy! What did you do? Shot him. Shot him dead. You sure did. See, cats, you can never execute a plan like this. You live in that shitty house, making baby boo boo PG bullshit monsters, accomplishing nothing. Nothing at all. You worthless pile of shit. Come on, Jesse. Let's get out of here. Oh, no. You're not taking away my rightful heir. Jesse! You get back here right now! <laughs> Jesse, please, just come down from there and bring me the book. We can go home, and you can use the internet for a whole hour. I won't even check the browser history. I've had enough of the internet, and enough of you, you pussy. Time for me to become the big man I was meant to be, with my big alpha friend here, right by my side. Right, Bo? Yeah, sure. Whatever. So, how'd your day go, cats? The mayor is dead. Well done, Udo. Left, took the book and took Jesse. He took Jesse? Yeah, Jesse killed the mayor and we did all this horrible stuff today. And I'm, I'm just a big fucking idiot. What Frank's is the journal okay. wasn't an awesome guide for truth and world salvation. It was for destruction and pure evil. I don't know where to go from here, Udo. Okay. 
I guess Kat's a good person, but... We were helping people even though the book didn't want us to. It was never the book. It was always us. We always knew what was the right thing to do. Fuck the book. Yeah, Katz is a good person, so that's a thing. You're right. I didn't need that book to tell me what to do. Also, <laughs> I, I, I know I've hardly said stuff. To just, wow, that scene took There's me off guard by a house. long shot. We're gonna help people because we want to. Yeah. I'm gonna start treating you all with more respect. You aren't just monsters, you're my family. Yeah. I'm gonna be sexually active with every single one of you. Whether ah. you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, okay, buddy. Getting a tad overboard. Sorry, everyone. Sorry. I, I'm still new to all this. Let's get to work. <laughs> King is possessed by his own mind somehow. Uh, Jesse went off with. I already forgot the guy's name. Uh, Chris Kyle, like I just said, um, he, he possessed King. In his mind, do not. I am still confused whether or not if King is going insane or not. He's still by far my favorite character because he's just in the back. I'm gonna pause it. Anyway, anyway, uh, not much for me to say about this episode. Um, I mean, it didn't have God voice crack. <laughs> It didn't have a lot of flashing lights as much as I, I didn't think it was. Violence-wise, not much either. I mean, yeah, classic Meat Canyon stuff. I don't know. This this show is weird in how Meat Canyon is putting it. We actually saw a good bit of... This episode was actually supposed to be more serious. I felt it. It was more serious. It, I liked it a lot. Uh, obviously way better than the others so far. The animation, you could actually see that it's a little bit more, like, precise. I don't know if precise is the right word, but to me, it looked a little bit more precise. Especially with Uno and Kat's design and whatnot. Apparently, that guy who came over worked with Kat's in the evil guy's house. So I think that's where the story is going to go, that we're going to learn more about that, whoever that guy is. Because this book is weird, made of human skin. Um... And these monsters aren't even supposed to exist, and yet there's, they somehow figured out a way to make monsters. So, I'm interested to see where this goes. Oh, apparently, uh, one more thing. This is coming towards the ending of Season 1 for Monster Lab, or the season in general. So, yeah, Mika said there's two more episodes after this, sometime coming during Christmas time, de December. So I guess we're going to be excited for that. Um, other than that, I have nothing else to say. I, I mean, great episode so far. I'm enjoying it. And yeah. So if you guys like the video, comment down below for more. And s subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah. Not much for me to say. Bye-bye. <laughs>